All right, y'all, it's Saturday morning and GB's doing an outfit check. <laughs> yeah. Where's your top from? Old Navy. And where's your jeans from? Osh, gosh, bagosh. Are they really? No, they're they're Levi's. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were serious. I was like, isn't Osh, gosh, bagosh a kid's brand? <laughs> and where's your underwear from? Uh, oh, you're not wearing any. Yeah. No. <laughs> Going commando. No. Well, thank you for showing us your outfit, GB. Oh, anytime. Thank you. I'm going to go call Vogue. Yeah. Okay. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, my darlings, and happy day of report. Nature and happy day of Rabotoy. So, guys, JB did his outfit of the day, and here is mine. I'm wearing that cute little top from the pajama section at Walmart yesterday. Oh, there's bugs everywhere. There's all those little gnats. And then blue jeans, Adidas slides, my pride Betsy Johnson bag. And, guys, I've been getting really into crop tops lately because I lost 10. Pounds. That's right, mother. I lost 10 pounds, guys. How about that? Isn't that so exciting? JB, I was just telling the vlog how I lost 10 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for liposuction. <laughs> <laughs> guys, oh yeah, I have to show you my thrifting haul. That is back there. I can't wait to show you guys that today. I also waited till today because... I have to wash the stuff, so I have to do a load of my laundry, so I'm just gonna throw it in with that. Guys, we're going grocery shopping. Yeah. We're going early again this week, guys. <laughs> um, we're staying home today. We have some projects that we wanna do, and actually, I'm excited that we're staying home. JB and I talked about it. We've had just such a busy, like, almost month. Like, it almost feels like for the past four weekends, we've constantly just had something to do, which isn't a bad thing. But also, we are such homebodies that we want to kind of recharge this weekend. So we're going to go grocery shopping and get some food and stuff. And actually, I don't know what the plan is for the day. I don't actually really kind of have a plan for today. So I'm not going to anticipate anything or tell you anything or anything like that. I just wanted to tell you guys that I look gorgeous and I lost 10 pounds. Do you guys know? Okay, so JB and I have this inside joke where I'll, you know, when kids, when you were a kid or like kids in general, when they get mad, they like pout, but it's like an evil looking pout, you know, like they're like this, they're like, like that. Me and JB do that to each other, right? You're the master at that. The master at what? The evil pout. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess you'll see it more often. Now, <laughs> yeah. so. You'll see it more often, guys. And look at, here's my nails again. I just love them so much. I showed Angie last night. Look at that middle nail. Like if this isn't, this is, this is my pink. This is my pink. I think it's called, I forget what it's called. I'll tell you guys later. But it is my favorite color pink. And then I, cause I didn't show you guys in yesterday's vlog, my nail polish. I'm one of those people, I was talking about it with my best friend Angie last night. I am, uh, what's it called when you are loyal to a brand? I guess, you know when you like, well like you know how me and you used to get Miss Myers a lot. Like we were dedicated to that brand. And then like, you know, we like a certain kind of coffee. So we only get that coffee. Like this will be my color and this like mermaid vibes. I like the glitter, but I wish it was more glittery. This is five, I have to stop sticking the middle finger up. This is five coats of that mermaid vibes glitter polish. So I want to get something a little bit more sparkly, but it'll do for now because I love my nails. Absolutely love them. So yeah. Anyway, see you later. We're in all day. I lost a nail. I don't have any more left. It's sad. It's so, so sad. <laughs> Look, y'all. 
and they're on the railroad track. Little like railroad cars. They're, uh, must be some kind of, they're, they must be traveling from somewhere. I mean, obviously, but. You know, JB, I didn't know that we were going to see a parade today. <laughs> you spoil me. That's interesting. I wonder what some kind of railroad club. Let's ask them. Why don't you join the railroad club? I wonder how far they're traveling. I don't know. I wonder, is there going to be like a big one? It's probably just all a little bit. Of a... You never know what you're going to see with us. First time I ever saw anything like that in my life. No, me too. I've never seen anything like that before in my whole entire life. Now I can say I did. And now you guys can say you did too. Hi guys, so we are home and I am repainting a thumbnail because I lost mine. Anyway, so you guys know how I paint my nails. I usually, and I'm actually really happy with the way this thumbnail came out. So this is fire putty, um, but I paint my nails on here and then that's when I put them on. It's very, very easy and they stay on there and then you don't have to paint them while they're on your hands. Um, so I'm painting a new thumbnail and this one came out so good. When I, oh, here's the color. Hold on, let me, I'm going to go by the window so you guys can see the color better. But, like, in all honesty, when I first used this pink color, it's quick, it's fast drying. So, I had to use, like, a couple coats of it for some reason. Stay there. So, this is the color pink that's on my nails. It's LA Colors, quick color, nail polish, fast drying, and it really is fast drying. It's almost like... When I first used it, it was almost drying like a matte, kind of, like the feeling of it, because it was just so quick. And again, I had to use one or two coats on these nails, but for some reason, that one, I used one coat and it's already covered. So I might put one more on it, and then a clear coat, and uh, do that. But this is it, and the color of it is perky. I got it at Walmart. I think it was Walmart, but the color's perky. That's what color this is. Beautiful. I love it. And then this is another L.A. Colors. Oh, Mermaid Magic. Mermaid Magic Iridescent. Um, iridescent Nail Polish. An iridescent Nail Polish. And it has, like, the fun top and stuff. And I picked this one, not even because it was Mermaid Magic, because I didn't even realize that it said Mer Mermaid Magic until I, like, got home. But I picked this one because of the chunky glitter in it. But like I said, it just takes a couple coats to really, like, see the glitter. And I actually wish there was more on my middle finger than there is. But this one's Mermaid Magic. And this color is Crystals. So on the side, they're Crystals. So that's what I have on my nails now. Perky. And Crystals. Love them so, so much. So, so much. So let me go. I need to go grab a water and then I'm going to show you what I thrifted. All right, so I came out on the back porch, guys, to show you what I got thrifting. So it's all in this giant bag here. But I'll show you the non-clothes first. So the first thing I grabbed, because you guys know if I see them, I grab them because we actually put our dried goods in our pantry in them. I grabbed this $1.99 glass container. And I actually already have one of these. I have the same exact one. So I'm happy I have a second one because we put like chocolate chips or almonds or nuts or walnuts or anything like that right in here. So I grabbed it. And then the next thing I got was kind of like, it's kind of like the same, it's like a container. But it's funny because we actually have these same exact bowls. Same exact bowls, but this one came with a lid. And I've been searching for glassware that com like comes with a lid because for when we have get-togethers or company, I like to put like vegetables with ranch out or salsa or something like that. And I want to keep it covered without having to use plastic wrap. So I grabbed this. Next two things I got, because of course, guys, I had to. I had to get this Little Mermaid book, Step Into Reading, Disney Princess, Sealed with a Kiss for 99 cents to add to my collection. And then I also had to grab this vintage, I don't even know what year this is from, 1990. 
um, Little Mermaid book, original movie story, and it even has like the pictures from the movie in it. Had to add this to my collection, even with like the original logo. I was like so excited for this because that means this came out right around when the movie did. So, um, okay, so as far as the clothes, guys, I got this long, which I'm gonna wear as a nightgown. Let me get up. Ugh. Got this long dress that's a very, very long, very longer than my other ones. It actually like hits the floor, but I will wear this as like a nightgown because you guys know how I am. I like to wear nightgowns. I don't want to be restricted and it has pockets. So I had to grab this. And then the next thing I got was this really, really cute sweater. I couldn't pass this up because it was a short sleeve sweater. So I really, really loved it. And it has a collar and I think it's just so adorable. So, so adorable. And it's like big too. It's long, it's big. It's gonna fit me nice. Cause a lot of times I see these shirts and they're like too short on me. So when I saw this one, I had to grab it cause it's nice and long and it'll be perfect for like spring and fall. Muscle turtleneck, because I really, really like these. And I don't have one. I have mock ones, but I don't have like an actual turtleneck and this is like a sweater too like a more not even a sweater i don't want to say it's a sweater it's more like a shirt but it's like a muscle so you got you guys get it and then this guys i was so excited to find this look at this gingham jacket it's alfred dunner and it is a jacket and it is so cute it has like the crunched up sleeves crunched up bottom or whatever that's called but it's this really, really cute jacket. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I feel like a pink lady. Look at this. Super cute. Oh my goodness. Like, I'm, I'm just going strawberry picking. Ooh. Oh. That's gross. Ugh. Thank God I'm washing them. Thank God I'm washing them. I'm actually going to take this off. I'm going to take it off because that was pretty gross. Um, and that's why I was like, oh, I have to show you guys what I thrifted because I started a load of laundry. This almost seems like it was almost handmade for some reason. I don't know why. But And then the last thing I got, guys, was this pearl necklace because I know I have my real pearl necklace and I just gave Carrie my old one. But I've wanted one that's as tight as this. So this one is... You guys are seeing a big belly. Because sometimes I'm wearing this black one that I have on, and I like this black one I have on, but sometimes I want, like, a bigger one. And I just think that's perfect. I forget how much this was. I think it was, like, $2.99, $3.99. But I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I am going to go sanitize this, so. And if I can just get it off my neck. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. The next thing that I have to do, guys, today is I need to... Put my new aloe plant right here. I wish it was bigger. Maybe it's good that it's small because I don't know what I'm doing. And that just came off of it. What do I do? Um, so I grabbed gloves and I grabbed a pot to $5 Dollar General to replant this. And then also I grabbed this stuff. Oh, which I don't even know if that's the right stuff. I have no idea. And then I also have this. So I think we're going to be okay. I think everything's going to work out. And I think we're going to do good because we have the hanging plant in the living room now. But now I also want to put one in the kitchen. And my friend Katie told me to get um, an aloe plant because they're very easy to take care of. Um, so I got this cotton plant hanger from Aldi. Got the bowl from Dollar General. This is mine. The gloves I got from Dollar General. Let's actually put these on so that we don't get dirty or lose a nail. There we go. It took a minute, but I got it on. Now let's do this one now. I wanted pink. 
Okay, there we go. They're tight, but that's okay. So am I. So anyway, so let's, I guess I just put dirt in here. I, I, I don't know, guys. I have no idea. Thank God I brought this to cut open the bag. There we go. I don't even know if this is the right soil, guys. I really do. I, I really have no idea. And I shouldn't be doing this right here. I'm just like slowly realizing right now that I shouldn't be doing this right here. I'm going to use this to scoop it out because I don't have a shovel. Okay, I think that amount's good for right now. And then I think I just take this out of here. I'm scared. Uh, okay, and then you put it in there. All right, and then I put more dirt in here. You know, I tried getting into plants back when I was an alcoholic. I mean, they're all dead now. They, it, didn't, it didn't work out, obviously. So I'm happy to be on this new journey now. Very gay of me for Pride Month to be getting into horticulture and architecture and uh, being a plant daddy. I'm happy to be part of the community. Okay, I think that's good, guys. I think that's perfect. I don't know, I don't think I put any more soil in it. I mean, is it supposed to be tight? It's like moving around a little bit. Is it supposed to be tight? It's like wiggling. Is it supposed to be like that? I don't know. Maybe it needs a little, maybe it needs like a scoop or two more just to spread it out. I'm spreading out. I want the world to know. I want to show them all. I'm spreading out. Isn't it crazy that we buy dirt? Isn't that, isn't that nuts? Like I had to buy this bag of dirt to put this in there when there's dirt everywhere. Is it just me, love? Because I don't think it is. Oh, JB is spray painting a hook. Because um, we our ceilings are really high in our kitchen, so it would be really kind of hard for a hook to be all the way like screwed into the ceiling. So I got like a spinning hook that you can hang this on. So he's just getting home now. So when he comes in and does all that, I'll show you guys what it looks like. But this is what it looks like right now. Okay, bye. So, guys, we're on our tutu walk. There's JB. There's the pups. It's a little bit chilly. I said to JB, I'm a little chilly. But JB has been working on his stone pathway down here. And look how far he's got, guys. It looks so beautiful. Look at that. So I said to him, I said, he's been working so hard that I wanted to help him. And I wanted to contribute so he carried this for me because it was a little heavy. So I wanted to contribute to your rock thing. So I carried one down for you. Why, thank you. You're very welcome. Now where should, ooh, ooh, I'm breaking it. Now where should I place it, honey? You can shoot. It's getting so heavy. Here, I'll put it right. There you go. Right there. That'll be the heart of the walkway. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. You guys didn't know I could make a walkway, did you? Joke's on you. So guys, it's a couple hours later. I'm just waiting for JB to get home, which I think he actually just got home. We were planning all week, guys, like literally all week to go out to dinner tonight. Like tonight was going to be like a little date night for us. And on our way home from the grocery store, we were both like, let's order out. And just watch a movie. So that's what we're doing. We don't feel like getting dressed up. Like, the sun's coming out a little bit, but it's been, like, overcast all day. And it's just, like, I feel like chilling. It's, like, the first weekend we don't have to go anywhere. So I'm kind of nesting, should I say. But we did hang the aloe plant. So the aloe plant is all hung, looking Gorgina. JB made the long hots. Yes. And then we're making something later to try, guys. I'll give you a quick little sneak peek. Hold on. Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? All right, you'll have to find out later. But let us get our food situated. We ordered out from one of our favorite places to order out from. And I'll show you guys what I got. Did you get, JB? <clears throat> a veal Toscano uh, panini. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. We love their paninis, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, after you look at the menu. The menu. The menu. Thank God you looked at the menu. Or JB was asking at me where that menu was. So I had to show him where the menus were. Our to-go menus. Anyway, I got a Chipotle chicken cheesesteak panini. I've, I've shown you guys this before. It's hard for me to show you guys here because I have ketchup at the top that's just sloshing around. But that's the top of the panini. But I got a chicken cheesesteak panini. We have long hots over here because I'm going to add long hots to my panini. But guys, this, these are the best paninis ever. And whatever bread this is that they put these on is that the it. ticket. Mm -hmm. It's the ticket. But it's a Chipotle chicken cheesesteak. Mmm. 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 Whatever bread that is, mm -hmm. it's just fabulous. <clears throat> fabulous. And they give you french fries. And then you also have a pickle. So, guys, tonight's Couch Potato movie review movie is Fire Island on Hulu. It is an Alphabet Mafia movie. Um, a group of queer best friends gather in, in Fire Island Pines for their annual week of love and laughter, but a sudden change of events might make this their last something. I don't feel like going up to the rest. But the guy Bowen Yang from SNL is in it, and so is Margaret Cho and stuff. So I've been seeing it a lot on TikTok. I've seen it a lot on Instagram. So I said to JB, I would love to watch it. And I think as being a part of the Alphabet Mafia, I think it's our due diligence to watch it and let you guys know how it is for a Couch Potato movie review. So we're going to watch it, guys. We'll see you in an hour and 46 minutes. All right, y'all. We just got done watching Fire Island. What did yeah. you, you think, JB? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. One out of five. Um, I don't know. What do you think? You're like, I don't know, three or four? I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I give it a four. Yeah. It was enjoyable. It was really, really enjoyable and funny. It was very, very funny. It was a nice, not very, very funny, but it was a nice switch up from what we've usually been watching, you know? Yeah. So you liked it? Yeah. Are you looking up Fire Island right now? I'm just curious about where, you know, I just. Are we going? Yeah. Anyway, good. I don't I'm know, JB. I'm, I'm curious as how expensive it is to stay out there. I don't know, JB. There seems to be a lot of sex, booze, and rock and roll going on there. I don't know if we'd fit in, honey. It's expensive. I don't know if we'd fit in, honey. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that is expensive. I wouldn't want to go there, JB. I don't want to go there. Why would I want to go there? Roxy's licking my feet. She's looking at my feet. It looks like I just gave birth to her. See? <laughs> so you give it a 3-4? Yeah. All right. And, and Bo and Yang wasn't really... Like, he was in it a lot, but he wasn't... They, they advertised it as him being the main character, I feel like. All right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Uh, Fire Island, I give a 4. JB gives it a 3-4. Um, it is rated R... Like I said, pretty funny, cute story. Um, that's really about a season a little bit. Hi right, guys, so it's a little bit later, and the last thing I want to try is I made some corn muffin mix, and we have some strawberry preserves and some strawberries, and we have the cornbread, which I just threw in here, and I wanted to make this. Because JB and I tried the cornbread, cornbread and strawberry uh, ice cream last weekend. And I said to JB, I don't think I've ever had strawberry and uh, cornbread together. And I said, and then I just said to him like five minutes ago, I said, but it's not that off the wall. I could see my grandfather, I could remember my grandfather buttering a corn muffin, putting it on the grill. And then putting strawberry jelly on it. So it's not... Oh, did this stick? I hope it didn't stick. Cornbread's not that great, guys. It's kind of falling apart, okay? I tried. I tried. I was thinking about going and... I was thinking about calling my Auntie Ginger. Which today's Auntie Ginger's birthday. Yeah. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. I wish her happy birthday when you were... Um, what were you doing in here? I don't remember. 
watching Peaky Blinders. No, oh. it was before. Oh. I don't remember what I was doing, but I, I, t I t voice messaged her and saying her happy birthday like Britney Spears. Oh. But I was going to ask her, I was going to say, because I know that she has like a little trick when it comes to this kind of cornbread, and I forget what it was, and I was going to message her, but I didn't want to bother her. Today's like her day, so. But it came out, the cornbread came out okay. It's just kind of like splitting apart, yeah. so. Oh, it's falling apart. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. It's crumbling. <laughs> yeah. I tried, guys. I followed the instructions on the box. Did I miss anything? Mm. Mm. It says prepare as directed. It didn't say anything else. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. I said to JB, you know what would make this even better? Whipped cream. Mm. Homemade whipped cream. Mm-hmm. It's like a strawberry shortcake. Mm-hmm. That's what I mentioned. Mm-hmm. So, guys, I'm going to wrap up the vlog. We're going to go try to watch another movie. Today was a really fun day. We got a lot accomplished today. And I'm excited for tomorrow. I hope you guys are too. Did you have a good day? Yes, I did. So, guys, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching on your phones, in your homes, or on your tablets. And I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or night whenever you watch us. I love you guys so, so much. You will definitely see us tomorrow. Be excited for it. So, until the next one. Yoo-hoo. Bye-bye. <laughs>